What we're going to look at in this video is our new add-in we have with Autodesk Revit. If you recall, HVAC Solution is BIM simulation software for modeling HVAC systems. Here, I used one of our many wizards to create an air handler, an airflow diagram, then a heating and chilled water system. HVAC Solution also creates steam systems and controls as well. After the systems have been created in HVAC Solution, you can then take the data and map it to Revit objects and transfer that data so you can create your schedules and put the data inside of Revit. So here I'm just going to come up, call up Revit. Here on my Revit drawing, I put a pump on the drawing and a boiler right here, right there. So I'm going to go to the add-in and here's what our add-in, HVAC solution add-in looks like. I'm going to hit the button that says Map Equipment. And here you can see on the left-hand side, I have all my equipment from my HVAC solution drawing. Here on the right is the objects I put in my Revit uh, drawing, 2013. Now I'm just going to click on an air handler in here and then double left click over here and you'll see down below I link those two air handlers together. And come down to this boiler and link it to that fire tube boiler. And come down and we'll do one more thing. We'll grab a pump down here. There's a pump and link that. Now that this equipment's been linked, I can hit transfer data button here at the bottom right. It's transferring the data from HVC Solution to the Revit families. Updated, so it's updated. Now here at the bottom, I can hit Create Schedules. And now it's using Revit to create the schedules. Here's a little summary here of what it's done. Now next, I can come in and look at a couple different things. I can come to a, the schedules or grab a sheet right here. So I've created a sheet. Now I'm just going to come to the schedules I created and just drop them right on that drawing with my air handler. There is my boiler, and here's my pump. Now the beauty about HVAC Solution is when you simulate and model systems and do all the calculations, you can also select equipment from manufacturers. So if you look here on my drawing as I zoom in, you'll see that I've actually selected a Taco pump, Cleaver Brooks boiler, and I have all the correct flow, load information, uh, head, horsepower, voltages on those different uh, pieces of equipment. Now obviously I can add to my schedule here or delete items if, delete items if I want to modify them. Next let's go up, let's just close out of here, and go in and look at the uh, click on the pump right there. You come under pump and you'll see also all the data has been put in. Uh, HVAC system data provider, pump, TACO, just head, flow, horsepower, all the data is right there as well. Click on the boiler as well so you can see that. Uh, on the boiler, all the boiler's been there. So obviously you could come in here under that shared parameter family update the information or go into the schedule and update the information. So that's how easy it is to take the equipment from an HVAC solution project file and uh, map it to a Revit file. You need to use Revit 2013 or later. Transfer the data, then have this, we automatically create those schedules inside of Revit for you. Uh, with this Revit add-in, you can also very easily, let me just go back to that add-in, import the equipment schedules right here. Let's just do that real quickly. So I'm going to import the schedules there. Those are from, and then the schematic here. The schematic will come down here. Uh, when you do it this way that I just did it here, it actually puts the schedules and the schematics right here in the drafting view inside of Revit. You can kind of see those right there. And the schedules here are in the drafting view inside of Revit, and it brings them in all at one time, so they're not uh, modifiable. So back to that add-in, or add-in. Uh, if you do the schedules this way, it just brings them all in at once. If you map them and transfer it, then you can uh, create the schedules inside of Revit. And then once again, the schematic... Uh, 
you can uh, put in that drafting view as well. Anyway, that concludes this uh, little demonstration on uh, uh, HVAC's, HVAC Solutions new add-in uh, with Revit 2013 or later. Thank you.